In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you how to use the 2 plus 8 prioritization system in Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to give you the 2 plus 8 template. Now for those of you who don't already know the 2 plus 8 prioritization system is a system that I use every single day to keep me focused on the things that are important. Now for me the things that are important and often the things that get forgotten about are my goals for the day or for the year and also the really important tasks that really must get done that particular day. Now, the way to do this is to actually create a to-do list and we do that in Evernote or you could do it in Asana, Trello, Todoist, whatever to-do list manager you use. But the problem that we have, of course, is that life is not constant. We cannot predict what distractions we're going to get the next day because most of us have bosses, clients, customers, friends, families, colleagues. You know, we've got many people who could contact us at any moment and ask us to do something that's going to destroy our day if we let it. So one of the reasons is of doing the 2 plus 8 prioritization system, what you're doing essentially is saying to yourself, every single day I'm going to complete these 10 tasks. And you select those tasks when you do your golden 10 the night before. And the golden 10 essentially is just planning for the day the night before. I've done many videos on the golden 10. I'll put a link to a couple of them in the show notes if you're interested in doing the golden 10. But essentially what you're trying to do is to do two tasks, two objective tasks, two things that you absolutely must get done the next day, come what may, and a other task that you would really like to get done, but it wouldn't be a disaster if you didn't get them done because of some distraction or one thing or the other. Now, I know that this is actually, if I'm being completely honest with you, this is best being done in your to-do list manager because that's your task manager for the day. But I do know that some people prefer to keep everything together in Evernote and also Evernote will keep a record of everything that you've done so there are some advantages of using Evernote for this particular system. So I've put together a template that I will share with you. You can go to the link below and you can get this template and I can't promise it's going to be there forever so if you're watching this in 2020 it might have disappeared but certainly for the next few months you'll be able to download that from the link below. Okay, with, before we go any further though, I would just like to say if you do like this episode, please click on that link below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, oh please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Evernote and I will show you how to use the 2 plus 8 prioritization template. Okay, so let me take you through this note and to show you how it works. Now, this is not necessarily the best way to do the 2 plus 8 prioritization method, but I do know that some of you like to have a separate sheet. And of course, you could create this in a Microsoft Word or Excel file, or you could create it in Numbers or Pages file, or any other, or even a Google's Doc. And you can just create it in whatever way you want to do. It's entirely up to you how to do this. But the key here is essentially, um, you begin the day, you begin when you do your uh, golden 10 at the end of the day, you sit down and you think, right, what two things do I really want to get completed tomorrow? And you would write them in here and you just have blah, 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 blah. So uh, exercise, I'm going to use easy ones today because uh, I don't want to be typing a lot. And let's say that you also want to um, finish presentation um, for next week's meeting. So those are the two things that you actually want to get completed for tomorrow. So they're done. Now, as you go through the day, of course, you want to get these completed. So you're just going to hit them, the check boxes to say they're done. Or you can actually go through and just, um, you could sort of highlight them. You can do whatever you want to do with these. I usually bold my objectives. So I would put them in bold simply because they, these are the most important things for the day. So I usually bold them and they're done. 
And then you would move on and you would start adding in the, the, the eight things that you would like to get done the next day. And you can just type those in and whichever one, you know, whatever you want to get completed in there. And remember, with this system, you don't actually have to have 10. You don't have to have two objectives for the day. You could, if you want, on a Saturday and Sunday, have no objectives for the day. You know, you need to create this around a system that works best for you, not necessarily the system that, like a textbook system, because everybody is different and everybody has a different way of doing things. And that is why you need to build this in for yourself. So you may want to add additional ones underneath this for things I would like to get done tomorrow. And you can start adding things so that this note can then just be copied and pasted through to the next day. It's highly up to you how you want to do this. Um, but what you really want to be doing is this is designed to help you to focus in on what's important to you so that you stay focused on the important things and don't get distracted by other people's issues and problems. And that's the key. And that's why this system does work if you adopt it every single day. And like I say, if you decide on a weekend you don't want to do it, that's absolutely fine. There's no problem there. But really, you want to be spending the majority of your days knowing what two th objectives you have for the day, what two things will you complete for the day, and what eight other things would you like to get done and will do your very best to get done despite all the distractions that inevitably you will receive. Okay, like I said in the introduction, this note is going to be available. You can get, um, you can download a copy of this note. For those of you using Evernote, the link is below in the show notes and you can just click on that and it will take you and you can copy this note into your very own Evernote system. But like I said before, really what you want to be doing is you want to be adopting it for yourself. But the one thing I would strongly recommend that you don't do is say, oh, I can get 15 tasks done a day, so I'm going to increase it to 15. Don't do it that way because you are going to get distracted by other people and that's why you get lost and that's why you start to feel overwhelmed. Be realistic, focus on the 10 things each day and make sure you complete those. That will then give you the freedom and the flexibility to deal with all the distractions from your bosses, your clients, your customers and your colleagues. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you found it useful and I hope you do get a lot more productive out of the 2 plus 8 prioritization method. Just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.